creativity is one of the most amazing and mysterious aspects of human beings. While a lot of people just go through life doing what they need to get by, there are others who seem to have some kind of magical power that allows them to be creative and uncover all kinds of amazing new ways of doing things in the world. Some people say that everyone has a creative side, and you just have to fire it up and start painting your own version of the Sistine Chapel, but not everyone has the top-level skills of the people we're looking at in this video. From the man who is a master of wood carving to the Swiss man who can create words of beauty with a hammer, here's 15 creative people who are on another level. <sighs> Number 15. Vlad. One of our favorite creative geniuses is Vlad, and he is a wood sculptor like no other. He uses a chainsaw to make the most amazing images you will probably ever see made out of wood. Vlad starts his process by making a sketch of the design he wants to carve into wood, in this case a Native American chief with two wolves. From his sketch he starts to make markings on a huge wooden tree stump with a marker so he knows where to make his cuts. Then it's time to prep the chainsaw, sharpening the blades and of course filling it with gas. Don't forget the safety goggles. Before long you can start to see a face emerge as Vlad uses his chainsaw with all the skill of a paintbrush. Pretty much flowing through the wood with delicate touches and sometimes taking off huge chunks. If he gets it wrong, well, he just cuts that part off there's plenty more tree to work with, then suddenly we begin to see the magical transformation take place as it's no longer a block of wood, but a real work of art. A little varnish and everything is finished, looking just like the sketch. You can check out more of his amazing carvings on his YouTube channel, Vlad Carving. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Artist makes portraits on glass with just a hammer. Glass and hammers are not traditionally a great combination. When you hit glass with a hammer, it tends to be more of a destructive thing than a creative thing. But that's not the way it goes for Simon Berger, who is a master of carving glass with a hammer. He has developed the technique of hitting a pane of glass with a hammer, which allows him to create amazing portraits of people. The skill needed to make sure every blow of the hammer is just hard enough but not too hard is huge. One tap a little too hard and he's going to have a seriously expensive mess on his hands. But Simon is the master, and he has the delicate touch needed to create these incredible works. He works from a photo or a sketch before carefully tapping the basic structure of the face so he knows where the eyes, nose, and mouth are, for example, before going back to fill in the detail. He says he likes it best when there is an abstract element to it, with cracks in the glass going right across the face. He also loves that people are fascinated by the discovery of this new art form. Number 13. Creative Photographer Hayden Pedersen is known as one of the most creative photographers on the internet, and his videos showing all kinds of hacks for making your photography look different using only household items have been a huge success. He shows you how you can use a dish towel or an office chair as a slider dolly, how to put all kinds of weird stuff over your lens to add effects to your images, and even shows you how to put Vaseline on your lens for a dreamy look. Although you might want to try that out on a cheap lens or filter first, as I'm not sure sensitive lens glass will be too happy about being smeared in petroleum jelly, the photographer from Australia says he has been dreaming up new creative ideas since he was 11 years old, starting out with animations before graduating to making films. Now he's on to using all kinds of crazy stuff like flares and even smoke bombs to generate unusual images in his Sony camera. He can get amazing bokeh from fairy lights and is even willing to play with fire. But as he says, make sure you have some water around for that one. Number 12. Most magic tricks performed in one minute. 
a famous British magician called Ben Hanlon, has now found his way into immortality, being officially recorded as the fastest magician in the world by the Guinness Book of Records. The 31-year-old went to the Guinness HQ in London to be timed as the magician who has performed the most magic tricks in just one minute. This required the quickest thinking and the most agile fingers he's been practicing since the age of five, so he has plenty of experience. Each trick must be different from the others, and an adjudicator was present with a slow motion camera to film the tricks, which could then be analyzed to see if they were done properly. And I was always just doing it as I was like the kid in the year that did magic. Nervous, his first attempt was a failure, but in his second and third attempts, he broke the record twice, finally ending with a score of 27 tricks in one minute, which is almost a trick every two seconds. The hardest thing about this attempt is you're doing two tricks at once, Ben said afterwards. Whilst one hand is doing one trick, the other hand is setting up or starting to do another trick. Number 11. Giant Matches this guy has only gone and made a box of matches so big, they make him look like one of the borrowers. Why? To be honest, we don't know, but he wanted to, so he did it. Wooden matchsticks have a long history, the first on record being found by Marco Polo in the forests of Nevada 5,000 years ago. But this bonkers man decided to make a box of five giant matches, each one 1,500 times larger than a normal match. They were made from balsa wood, whether making these was an act of creative genius or creative lunacy is for you to decide. Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. John Kun Glass Another glass-working genius with amazing creative ideas is the artist John Kun. He makes sculptures with shards of colored glass trapped in the centers, which gives a truly beautiful sparkling effect to his work. He uses his own process of cold working rather than glass blowing, which means plenty of time spent grinding and polishing the glass so it looks just right. To Kun, the sculptures also have a spiritual quality, and he said, my philosophical expression in glass has always been a reflection of my interest in Eastern mysticism. And he went on to say, For specific subject matter, I make reference to my interests in architecture, music, mathematics, and textiles, as well as the formal considerations of structure and color. Kuhn was born in Chicago in 1949, and he received his MFA at Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond in 1978. He lives in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and his work can be found at the Smithsonian American Art Museum in Washington, D.C., the High Museum of Art in Atlanta, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, and the Vatican Museums in Rome, among others. Number 9. 95 Days Building a Million Dollar Underground Water Slide House Mr. Hyung is a Thai man living in the United States. He set out on an incredible project, which was to build every kid's dream, a million dollar underground water slide house out in the middle of the jungle in South America. His project took 95 days and he filmed a time-lapse video of the whole thing so we could follow his amazing progress. And what's more, he just used some basic tools to complete this incredible project. It all began one day with digging a big old hole in the dirt, which is the basis of any great building project, of course. Pretty soon the hole was enormous and had steps leading down into it. Before long, there were some nice architectural touches emerging with carved pillars and all kinds of different spaces being built with the simplest tools. Pretty soon he had some grass and rocks in there and it was beginning to look like home. He was able to take out his homemade fishing and hunting equipment and score some dinner to cook on his new fireplace. Finally, with all the rocks in place, he was able to fill it with water and enjoy this genius water slide. Number 8. Salavat Fidai Russian artist Salavat Fidai is known for his stunning artworks. The only problem is that you need a microscope to fully appreciate them. They are tiny masterpieces that the Miami resident puts onto pencil tips. Born in 1972, he worked as a lawyer for 25 years before finally quitting that job to pursue his dream and create works of art on pencil tips. Before he got there, he had already begun his creative output as a photographer, preferring to photograph fruits and vegetables. 
models. He also makes tiny paintings on matchboxes and on pumpkin and sunflower seeds. A single work can take from 6 to 12 hours to create, while more complex pieces can be as long as 3 days to fully finish. He uses a stereo microscope and a craft knife to carve his works into the pencil tips. And although he started out with 5mm pencils, he soon worked his way down to 2mm diameter graphite for the finest of tiny sculptures. He prefers to depict movies and cartoon characters, animals, musical instruments, pop culture objects, household items, and famous architectural objects. Number 7. Mini Real Cooking those of you with a large appetite better look away now because we're about to show some of the most amazing gourmet dishes cooked in sizes fit for a mouse. These incredible dishes look amazing, but they probably aren't going to fill you up if you're feeling hungry. This is a dollhouse which has a real working kitchen, and pretty much any regular dish you can think of can be cooked here as long as you can chop up the ingredients small enough. We can see the makings of a chocolate cake using a tiny bird egg, and it all gets mixed into the smallest bowl, before a tiny pan is heated on a tea light. And just like in real cooking, half the food ends up all over the floor, on the counter, and pretty much anywhere else it's not supposed to be. At least, just like in my cooking, the used tea light cases make for a perfect cake tin, and it all goes into a mini oven to bake. I guess the baking time is a little less than a regular cake, but the prep seems to be going just as long. The eating time? Well, you'll have to ask the mini people about that one. Number 6. Ice Sculpting Turkey's Got Talent contenders, Nahit Yilmaz and Erhan Ostegru, brought something totally new to the contest when they showed their skills with ice sculpture. The audience had to wait patiently while the pair worked at their masterpiece, which was designed to show their talents to the full. Ice sculpture is definitely a very precise art form and requires some thinking and planning of what needs to be sculpted next to achieve the vision. The pair took turns and worked along with the music in the background to get a result. It had to be said that their audience's reaction ranged from looking pretty bored to sheer amazement at what was happening before their eyes. Nahit and Erhan looked pretty talented probably aware that most people watching are not willing to wait several minutes for their content to arrive. But in the end, the judges decided they had seen enough of this swan sculpture and decided to put Nahit and Erhan through to the next round to compete for the honor of being Turkey's most talented. Number 5. Pancake Art Pancake art has recently taken the internet by storm as talented people everywhere have been painting with different colors of pancake batter and then cooking the pancakes to make these astonishing treats that kids everywhere are demanding. If you have youngsters and you're not much of an artist, you might want to get practicing your pancake batter Elsa from Frozen if you want to maintain peace in your household. To make them, you need the regular pancake batter ingredients, including eggs, flour, milk, butter, and in this case, food coloring. Then you will need several mixing bowls, measuring cups, squeeze bottles, a griddle spatula, masking tape, and a sharpie. Then you will make different batches of batter with different food coloring. And you can put masking tape on each bottle so you know which color is in which by marking it with a sharpie. One tip is to use a little more milk in the batter than usual, so it comes out of the squeeze bottle easier. Then it's just you and your art skills against the world, and you can use your imagination or copy a picture. Once you are done, you head up the griddle, get that pancake bubbling, and stand back to admire your masterpiece. Number 4. Oil Painter Lena Danya is known as an oil paint artist on YouTube, who originally hails from the Ukraine, but now lives in Florida. Even since a young age, Lena was influenced by the creative people in her family, and she has become known for painting nature scenes with oil paints, which is a traditional method of painting. She also shows just how she goes about her creative process with the time-lapsed videos she posts on her YouTube channel. She also gives talks and even films her gallery openings and exhibition nights to give an insider view to the world of art. In her art diary, she reveals some secrets about painting and also documents her worldwide travels as an artist. She says she could never see her life being without art and was sure she would become a professional artist. And it's great to see that she is able to live out her dreams. She also says her biggest inspiration is nature, especially the ocean. So if you want a fantastic seascape oil painting, then Lena might just be the person you need to contact. Number 3. Yee-haw! 
Here's one Chinese artist who has developed a truly wild technique for painting. Yi Hao is not spending time mixing paints up and then dipping a brush carefully onto his palette to create the perfect blend of colors. He just opens up a can and chucks it at the canvas in a wild way, resulting in crazy splashes of color that some people have been calling masterpieces. Then he takes cloth and brushes and goes at the canvas like a man possessed to create bright and powerful pictures of animals and many other things things that interest them, such as dragons and landscapes. If China is producing great artists like this, while Italian artists are busy gaffer taping bananas to walls, then the great Chinese artistic takeover of the 21st century that many have been predicting is surely only a short time away. It's a very cool artwork, and it is possible to buy pieces from Yi if you can manage to find them. Number 2. This artist can make any shape out of paint. One of the latest social media phenomenons is paint mixing art. It has become a kind of performance art, and one of the best is Canadian Annette Lebedsky. In record-breaking time, Annette has become one of the most recognized figures in paint mixing, as her social media channel has exploded with popularity. She describes her artistic process like this. My process starts with instincts, little visions flashing before my eyes, visions of colors that I want to use for the next video. As I start filming, I become very relaxed and treat the paint with the utmost respect. She uses her palette knife and begins mixing different colors to make some bright and interesting looking fish shapes. In fact, she attributes living near the ocean as one of her main sources of inspiration, saying it makes her extra productive. She also hopes that her videos will end up being used as therapy for people with mental health issues. And she says she is pleased to receive so many messages from people who have found her channel to be a source of comfort during periods of anxiety or depression. Number 1. 3D Painting Here's another great Chinese artist who has been creating some of the finest 3D paintings in the world. As you can see, it all begins with the artist and his young assistant finding a nice spot on a wall and the painter makes a start on a mysterious painting. Pretty soon it looks like a human figure carrying a huge pot, which is being colored in red. Then the boy carrying the pot gets his first layer and a nice blue colored sweater with brown pants. It all looks pretty basic at this stage, but things are about to get a little more intense. Once the details start being filled in, we see that the sweater is in fact striped and the boy's face has perfect details, almost looking like a photograph. One important trick is to make sure that the legs go down onto the floor because this helps to give the illusion of a 3D image. Next up, he paints the most important part Art, the tree trunk, which ingeniously attaches to a real tree trunk that is growing on just the other side of the wall that the artist is painting on. This amazing combination makes it look as though the boy is carrying a massive tree in his red pot, and has caused passers-by to stop and stare in shock at what appears to be the strongest boy in the world. On closer inspection, they soon figure out that it is nothing more than the latest in the line of masterpieces by this famous Chinese 3D artist. Which of these works of art would you most like to own? What is your creative outlet? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!